again. Uh, this is the crew of the Oh Boy, and we are at kind of production doing the um, running the game for Ulysses Field. So yeah, when we left you guys last time, you were outside the temple uh, to Saint Beatrice. Calypso Mars was called away by a hasty message from Gregor. The rest cool. of you um, <laughs> entered and then managed to lock yourself inside the temple to the Blessed Lady. Not our best moment. And while inside, you uh, both got to speak to Beatrice for the very first time, got some information on what's possibly going on. Were attacked by strange creatures, the ones that the the humans of Limbus have been fighting with for a very long time. It's the reason they scoured the planet. Uh, you tried to get out. Um, the dice told a story and you were unable to get out. And uh, you decided that you wanted to go into the crypts to try and find an icon to, uh, of Beatrice. And during that decision-making process and trying to hack a confessional, um, Alexa was captured by these creatures, and you guys descended into the crypts, slew the creatures that were carrying her, and entered into the catacombs where you very reverently robbed some graves. And <laughs> what? <laughs> grave. <laughs> and um, as you descended down into uh, the place where the bones of St. Beatrice lie, you came across more of these creatures. In fact, dozens of them that were protecting these sack-like globules. And the largest of the creatures that you saw was kind of sitting there in the midst of this thing. Remember, these are the, the, the creatures that absorb and convert those that they infect. So, yeah, it was gross. Obvious. Yeah, they were glistening in oh, first good. light. Yeah, I figure everyone <laughs> likes that word, so I'm just going to... They were moist? They were not! They were quite <laughs> unmoist. Um, <laughs> so I missed so much. You missed so much. But before we decide, we discover what happens to you guys. Oh no! <laughs> I specifically said I can't wait to not make decisions tonight. <laughs> Set yourself you meant, up for that one. Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Get my popcorn. <laughs> And it was that night that Calypso oh. perished. <laughs> Actually, I think you're the safest one at the table right now. It was that night that Calypso's <laughs> band of merry friends perished. And all she had left was Gregor. And it was good. <laughs> <laughs> so, you were standing on the outs outside of, of the temple, and okay. a message came across your comms. It was Gregor saying... You got to get back here. Something's wrong. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you descended the steps, headed back into the city, and when you got there, it was Gregor, and Gregor's in the orders that they were, you guys were given. Nigel is stretched out there on the. Oh boy. Oh, yeah. He's still mostly dead. Yeah. Oh. He's he's doped up on morphine given to him by Alestra, so Nigel's. <laughs> Fine. For now. Um, For now. It's quite ish. <laughs> yeah. I said fine. Flames <laughs> everywhere. Captain, it's not right. It's not right what they did. What did they do? Again, refresh my memory. <laughs> Some little. Twerp came in here and he kind of look, nods over and you see it, it uh, the the mirror over a dresser is has a big smash in it. Oh good. And most of the stuff on the dresser has fallen off. Okay. So we're in the quarters. You're in the quarters. Not in the oh boy. Not in the oh boy. Nigel is still on the bed, kind of dead. Still on the bed, <laughs> recovering. Yes. Yeah. 
kind of did. All right. Um, kind of did. And it's not it's not good what they did. Um, and there is a smashed window or mirror. Okay. I'm I'm so sorry. Do I have any idea what you you're talking you, about? No. Okay, just making no, sure. You, then I'm good. You then and good. Clipso are okay. on the same page. Okay, good. It's blank. Okay, you're on the same page. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. This page right here. That page right there. That's that. See is... that, ladies and gentlemen, right here. That's right. Okay. That, that is the page they are on. All right. Um, <laughs> some guy came in here called uh, Lieutenant Luenzo. He said that they were. Uh, he said they were going to come, come and. Common, commandeer. Commandeer. Commandeer my ship. Yes. Uh, what? I'm, I'm sorry. How long ago? Five minutes. Uh, Gregor, let's I, let's let. Yeah. No, I picked just, him up and threw him into the mirror. He's, he, we can we can make better time than he can. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hard eyes. <laughs> okay. So. Is is he running or where is he? he Did you hide him under the bed? <laughs> no, he's lifting. Okay, away. so he's, so he's going to go talk to Lord Seth. Bronus. Right, yeah. Lord Cephalopodopolis. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. So, um, how about how about you stay here? I don't like it. How about you <laughs> That's come with place. me? <laughs> we'll just leave Nigel completely alone and utterly defenseless. That's what can possibly go wrong here. Um, because <laughs> uh, I said I wasn't gonna make choices tonight, and here they all are. You do you, boo. You do you. <laughs> It okay. was at that moment that we realized that JM had a week to figure out what to do with her character. <laughs> it was in that moment <sighs> that we realized that she messed up. <laughs> okay. Um, do we have keys to these rooms? Um, do you have a key? Gregor is a member. was a member of the Engineer's Guild. Okay. He can lock it. Can he unlock it? Mm. Yeah. We might. You might have to break it down. Okay. Well, uh, from what I remember, was no one is inherently hostile towards us here, right? Like nope. that's that's still a thing. Nobody. Okay. So then it's fine to leave yes. Nigel alone for now. <laughs> okay. So let's let's go chase after that guy, and um, I'm gonna jump on him, and uh, you're just him. you're just gonna you're just gonna be there, real imposing. All right. All right, let's do this Black Widow style. <laughs> okay, so... Scissor legs. Um, <laughs> um, all right. All right. So as you head back out of the hall, you do realize that you do see, like, a scuff mark as if someone is dragging their leg behind them. I might have thrown him too hard. No, you didn't throw him hard enough. It's fine. Next time. Next time. All right. Time. So you guys go racing <laughs> off down this hallway, and... You can see out the windows of the hall as you head down. There's still the gray clouds that are, are whipping by. The, the field around the city is quite visible as this kind of prismatic shimmer about 300 feet above the city. You can see that what used to be, again, like much taller buildings that were sheared off you can actually see now where people have built new roofs, even though like the building extends a little higher up. And as you come around the corner, you see this guy. He is in the same military outfit, like um, like the one boy with the yes with the eyes that has boy. still a beating heart that looked at Jexa. You mean uh, Basarian? Yes. There's a beating heart in there for now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see this guy, cr close cropped hair. He's holding his his right side and he's dragging his right leg. Um, you can still see like there are there are fairly large pieces of glass that sort of match up to the pieces of glass missing from the mirror. So can I just go behind him and just? Oh yeah, you can totally do that. Okay, um, I'm gonna he try to howls. Oh, so I don't even have to roll for it. I just get to do it. 
Cool. <laughs> and you're chasing after a wounded man who has just been surprised, picked up, and hurled across a room into a mirror. He's still a little... And Calypso Mars is Captain Calypso Mars. So. Uh, yeah, and, and there was the words, commandeer our ship. Mm -hmm. So we, you know, remember when we flipped that coin and what she is that day? <laughs> she cray. <laughs> <laughs> these are your angry eyes. Yep, these are my angry eyes. All right, so I am going to, after he howls, I assume, does he like double over, kind of leave? He kind of stumbles up against and hits the side of the wall. You okay. can see fresh blood starts to soak his uniform. Hey, Gregor, stand in front of him so he can't keep sliding forward. Right. Be imposing. That's right. Use those wide shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> He kind of, you see, he's, he's looking around, like Gregor's like looking around for something. What, what, do, you, what do you do? Another mirror. <laughs> and Louis is just like, oh God. She's going to get like real, like, kind of like. <laughs> she's like, hey, what are you doing? This is Lady of Light, I'm so sorry. Oh, and he like reflexively tries to lift his right arm up. <laughs> Your man attacked me and threw me into a wall. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you came you came into our our quarters, right? Yes. Did you suggest doing something nefarious to one oh boy? Right. I don't know what you're talking about. You want okay? Why did you come into the room? To talk to your your first mate and to you. Why? Uh, we need to use your ship. Use my ship? Yes. For what? I can't tell you that it's classified. Yeah, yeah. See, there, therein lies the problem. So you are going to use my ship. Yes, but not your man. Were you going to bring it? <laughs> <laughs> Stares into the camera. <laughs> oh, I do have a camera I can stare into off the side. I am so... <laughs> You said something about using your boy. I swear, I wasn't going to do anything. The ship is named O'Boy. Suddenly, much of the last five minutes makes more sense. <laughs> I tried to explain that to him. You, you did your best. You did your best. You did your best. So, Not sure what Gregor did in the engineer's guild. <laughs> He's a damn good pilot, though, so... <laughs> He picks things up and puts them down. <laughs> he does. He's really good at putting them down. <laughs> um, okay. So, if it's classified, were you, were you going to bring my ship back? I mean, that was the, the plan. That was the plan. Okay. So, so, now that you realize that we're quite hostile and sensitive and very protective over our old boy... Yes, that was made abundantly and explicitly clear to me. Did, He's wheezing, you can tell. Like, something's <laughs> definitely not moving right in his chest. Oh, I have, I've got, I mean, I'm not doing anything with it right now, but I got med kids, so. I was like, don't oh, I'm mad. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <sighs> okay, so, it's, is, is this thing that you wanted to do, is it still classified? It is. To the person whose ship you were going to literally take from? Just, just borrow. You see, here's the thing. Here's the funny thing about borrowing is if you tell me why you're borrowing my ship and I'm involved in it, you don't have to borrow my ship. You can be on my ship while I do the thing for you. And if you take borrow it without asking, that's called stealing. Yeah. So proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> can, do advanced, can do advanced jump gate calculations in his head. But when it comes to what the law is, it's very rudimentary. It's very rudimentary. <laughs> very well. I tell you, you get me medical attention. Yes. I will personally give you medical attention. And then may we borrow your ship? If I utilize it with you. Very well. We cannot tell the Lord or Lady Sophronis what is going on. 
what is going on? A military operation <coughs> against <coughs> them. I did not hear over her coughing. I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. He said a military operation against them. I'm... Not not the Sophronis. Is Sophroni? Never quite sure how to... <laughs> Sophronians. Uh, um, no, against. House Selecto? Are we still with those people? No, this is on the. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, House yeah, Selecto. Yeah, yeah. Sophrona Selecto. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, not, not them. Not the Lord or his, or his daughter, but the things outside of the city. Okay, so you want to expedite. You want to utilize my ship for a military operation against the creepy little monster thingies? Yes. And you don't want to tell. The Lord Electo, why? That's correct. Why? He has already said that we should not do it. Do it attack them? Use one of the power reactors. Offensively. Okay. I'm assuming the power reactors are used for survival? Yes, but it's a tertiary backup one. We haven't had to even engage it for, oh, 400 years. <laughs> that medical attention we were talking about. Yeah, sure, fine, I'll really do that. really feel like one of my lungs is filling up with fluid. <laughs> All right, fine. My mouth is full of pennies or blood. Okay, fine, I'm going to uh, use one of my med kit uses on him. Okay, so it's a uh, wits plus remedy, and you get to make it favorably. Okay. <coughs> well, I got it already. So it was, I needed 11, I had a 10. Nice. So uh, you can spend them two for one to heal up his vitality. So um, you, can, you can heal five points. Oh, Gregor threw him hard. Sure, sure. <laughs> Let's just do that. Does that right. not... It take that takes all of them, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because when you, when you roll a remedy, they, they're basically temporary... Victory oh. points that can only be used for the remedy roll itself. They okay. go away at the end of the. No, they're gone. The no, she had yeah. ten. I had ten. On the board, I have ten, but I, I didn't know if I still had them because I wasn't here last. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm a generous and benevolent GM. Um. Wow, I was like, <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Thanks. So we start. <sighs> Thank you. Yes. We have found a large nest of them outside the city. They've been moving closer to the landing pad where your ship currently is. My commander believes that now is the time to... Who's your commander? What's, I'm sorry, what's his name again? Lorenzo? Uh, no, uh, Luenzo. Luenzo. Yep. Major Pagana, she's in charge of all of the How Selecto is in charge inside the shield. Major Pagana is in charge of any operations outside of the shield. So the military appropriating a civilian generator is technically as if the word even matters anymore, illegal. Yeah? Is there like crime and punishment here for a law and order? That law and order, just, just curious, what happens to people that do things against the electos? Depends. Those who can be rehabilitated are. Certain crimes, though, end in staking. Oh, staking. Can you define that, please? They tie you to a stake and leave you for them outside the shield. I didn't even drink that. That just made me really upset. <laughs> okay. That's um, horrendous. And then if we do this, so I'm not guaranteeing that I'm doing this. First of all, it's my ship. Second of all, you it's know. Your ship. Yeah, you tell him, Gregor. <laughs> Second of all, you now literally owe me your life because 
I was gonna murder you. Just yeah. just flat out. Just want you to know that. Yeah, and Gregor's just pointing to the window that you guys are standing next to. Yeah, he would have just picked you up. Wouldn't picks, even have broken a sweat. He picks things up and he puts them down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he does. <laughs> that is what I want the capture of the picture of Gregor to say. I put things up, or pick things up, and I put them down. Down! <laughs> so, I'm going to first need to talk to the people I'm with, since we're also here for a specific reason. All right. They're the ones who went to the temple? They did. And if they're not back, I'll probably eventually get really bored and unilaterally make a decision that might be disfavorable to all of us. But I should at least try to talk to them first. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. I'll, I'll get... I'll go talk with the Major. I'll send um, Guard Vissarion with you. He's back. He can take you back to the, t- the temple. He's on his... Um, okay... But I don't know the temple's locked, do I? You do not. Okay. You do not know that Alestra pulled the door be- closed behind them, leaving the <laughs> keys the on the outside. The key. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'm yeah. so glad I'm not the only one who makes bad decisions. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we came to what? roll dice and make bad decisions, gosh darn it. <laughs> Let's moonwalk, she said. It'll be fine, we said. <laughs> you already know I make bad decisions. <laughs> On par. The, the goal is to make better decisions, to learn from the mistakes. <laughs> and yet these ones just make the same over and over. All right. <laughs> so who's coming with me? Guard who? Vissarion. The one that's making eyes at um, Jexit. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> no. That one. That deal is off if that guy gets even within 100 meters of me or Jexa. Don't you talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> I hate when I quote memes because then people don't get it. Um, Sorry. I, um, all right, I guess I will send someone else there. I mean, you can ask Amy what he made. <laughs> <laughs> when is the gender and fertility status of this young? <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> yeah, at this point, they probably need some fresh blood. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time. The gender di- or the yeah, the DNA diversity here. The gene pool. Gene pool. I mean, it is it is time. a <laughs> it is a city, right? Minimal minimum sustainable population is somewhere in I think the. Five to six thousand range. Okay, you know what? Which you know what? I could Fine. be wrong. Quote, you know, let me know if I'm wrong. Fine. <laughs> well, he can come. I'm just going to ask him a lot of very invasive questions. It's fun. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to ask you invasive questions too. How do your freaking lungs feel? Because in two seconds, they're not going to feel so good if you keep looking at me like that. Listen, I'm. I'm s- and he looks to Gregor, and then like just decides that the floor is the best place for him to be looking. He looks to the middle distance. Um, okay, I suppose that's okay. Okay. All right. So when are you and I gonna meet up again? After you talk with your crew. Cool. Where are we gonna meet? Just calm me. He sends you. He tells you what his his comm channel is. Cool. All right. (laughs) If you try to steal my ship, I will kill you so slowly that you will be gray haired before it's over. (laughs) Cool. Glad we have an understanding. All right, Gregor, let's go. Dumb landbound doesn't even know that she took the carburetor off the ship. <laughs> I did. <laughs> or the science fiction equivalent of a carburetor. All right. So, at some point, as you head back, mm-hmm. you do hear that um, they were trying that uh, comps have been reestablished inside the 
temple. Okay. And that's right about the time Bessarion, or right before Bessarion kind of meets you. So when you meet him, he's like, I uh, was told to report here by my lieutenant. Yep. We're going on an adventure. Um, I don't think I can do that. Do you have all your teeth? Um, I mean, except for the ones that were taken out, yes. Did you, did you do well in school? Um. How old are you? 17. Are you still in high school? Do they still have that here? No. Are you working? Yes, I'm a guard. Do you work full time? Um, I Where work. is your mother? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's interaction. Okay, strange term. Um, yes, um, I pulled six shifts a week. Um, three of them are beyond the shield. Um, my mother and father are about 20 minutes away by train. By train? Yeah. Why, why are you not in school? Um, because... I completed all of the educational memory inserts when I was eight. So you're smart. I mean, I think I am. God damn. All right, come on. <laughs> Jax, I mean, we're going to the temple. You're going to help us make contact with the rest of our group. Yeah, I'm because I'm comes. Are you in on this secret thing? Like... <laughs> cool. We're, Gregor, don't tell him anything. Let's go! Nothing. <laughs> I don't like him. <laughs> Alright. Um, when you get there, there, Basarian is able to communicate with you you guys. And he, you, it was the time you told him to get the key. Oh, Basarian is the one who did that. Yeah. He, Aww. It's, he's like, it's very static. Is there anything you want me to try and pass on? Do you have any pre-existing health conditions? <laughs> I'm no, not them. You. Uh, we'll, we'll get we'll get to them in a second. I have. I have. Um, She's dying in the basement. <laughs> She's asking him about uh, his health yeah. history. <laughs> uh, there's, I, I think that like, um, my father suffers from Janald's disease, but I don't believe it's genetic. Look. Uh, look. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, they're gone. I'm sorry. The static is pretty bad. They seem to. So, are we by the door? Yeah. Okay. She's just gonna try it. Well, you know, there's always that one person who tries the door when you're all like, "Oh yes, it's all time for us to go to class," but the door is locked. And nobody tries the door except that one person. Just, just, just wanted to check. Okay. <laughs> and that's when you realized it was a pull and not a push. <laughs> now you guys could have gotten out the whole time. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna jump back over to you guys. It's you really had okay you just. Stay with you, for a while longer. you what? <laughs> you stay with I could just say you don't, you don't she's want me. She's currently just stuck on. Do you have diabetes? <laughs> <laughs> So we uh, we return to the catacombs as Jen is just being torn apart by these things, um, consumed in a, in a horrible, horrible fashion that, I, running that I, will, I will describe in exquisite detail. Um, no, so please do the the, sar the sarcophagus of uh, Saint Beatrice before you. The mounds of so, like, what? How how is this room set up? Like, just so it it's it's a circular room. Okay. Domed ceiling, and beautiful. In the center of the room is the right recessed into the floor is the the top of the crypt of. You Saint want us to like? No, we're fine. Okay. I'm doing this for my own. And, and, okay. and then on the far that. side of that is where, and you can see where like, the wall had been torn down and it looked like it had come out. There's okay, so, so there's, so, 
The beasts have been infiltrate, have been able to go around the protective through here. We should go tell them. Because even if we stop these here, more can get through. We need to go. How many creatures are there? Um, there's the one very large one, kind of in the center. And then you see a half dozen moving around. And they've all kind of pulled back. Not, none of the tendrils, none of the webbing, none of the gelatinous sacks come within six feet. Uh, sorry. Uh, do the math. Three meters. No, two, two meters, meters of the... Stupid metric system um, of the the lid of the sarcophagus. Are the eggs and webbing and creatures? Are they all wrapped? Like, are they starting to come around? The they are. They have not moved towards you at all. Okay, they're still on the far side. They're still on the far side. Okay, we should go and tell everybody what has just lit up. No, you hear it in your head. So. No, we should go. I'm hearing something in my brain. I don't like it. Do yeah, I've heard. Not no, let's go. Tell let's them go. About us. Is it just Jackson who hears this? You them? all hear this. <laughs> they will kill us. Wait, who will? Yeah. Well, you're kind of scary. I, I'm. I'm you're saying that out loud. Yeah. yeah. Who will? Those above. Okay, and why shouldn't they kill you? Why shouldn't we kill you? The cycle well, continues. We are not what we once were. Okay, what, what were, were you? Yeah. <laughs> Jaxa is just... <laughs> I've heard voices in my head before. I hate doing this. <laughs> hey, hey, Alexa. <laughs> Alexa's just frozen. I got the back of her robe and I'm like, let's go. <laughs> you are not of this world. You do not have... The radiation stink on you. The, Where are you from? Can you de describe that further? I am very confused. The radiation stink. Yeah. That's only to the people on this planet? You do not have it. Is that why you've been killing the people on the planet? Because of the no. radiation stink? They try to use the radiation to kill us. Long ago. So the scouring. Okay. Our, <clears throat> you said the cycle continues of you killing them, them killing you. We interpose it Are you, you and Alexis, at somehow. all interested in stopping that cycle? We like are like hiding. Oh. We live here. Okay. We can see that. Are you at all interested in stopping the cycle of killing? That is why we said do not talk to them and tell them about us. Yeah, but what if y'all just keep getting stronger and then go kill them? That solves nothing. If we killed you when you entered here, it would have solved everything, yes? By your logic. Uh, sure? But that still doesn't solve the point of y'all hiding. And they're still wanting to kill you, and you'd still want to kill them. We do Why not, not just wish... find a peace? There is no peace. There Why is not? only peace here. Why do you all like? Here? Do you all like the goddess of life? Lady. Lady of life. No, no goddesses. Sorry. Sorry. Right. <laughs> F. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Roll another character. That's right, your character. <laughs> that hidden brain aneurysm because you didn't absorb 300 pages. I'm just kidding. Totally kidding. Um, what did you say? You were asking... Um, why is there peace here? The creature... I mean, the creature's... Can we tell the voices coming six. from the biggest... You you really can't. When you hear it, you see all of the sacks kind of vibrating like in time with the, with the <laughs> the uh, <I'm> a sack. <laughs> the sp <laughs> so I got to. We're both asking basically the same yeah. thing. Like I asked, do you like it here because of the lady of light? She's asking, why is it peaceful here? We do not like it here. We do not like anything. 
but we are not what we once were because of the second son. We are no longer what we were. We are now the commune. What were you before? What were we before? We were, and you just hear this, like, this sound of like slime being squished around in your minds. Is that their language trying to tell us? Mm-hmm. I'm going to lean out from around behind Gemma where I am like backing down the hallway, but now I'm like, oh, curiosity has been peaked. <laughs> I feel like I described all of you guys pretty pretty well for our episode zero. <laughs> and go. Uh, I can't wait to see it. Um, they call you the face stealers. Is that what you do? You take people's faces? We absorb biological material into our own. We take the memories of those we encounter. If we, you were inside the geothermal vents and the bombings uh, released the you, do you want to go back to that? There is no back. Would you like it if all of the humans left? I, I ask a question and then I like go back. <laughs> I can see it in my mind's eye. <laughs> you could take them. It, it would take a couple of years, but but maybe. Would you take the second son with you? What's the second son? There are two sons for this planet. There are not two sons for this planet. Where is the second son? Does the second son son come and go? No, it is constant. It is blinding. Is is it here in the city? It is here. Even now, we hear the voice of the second son. What does it say? Do not consume you. If we do not that, would you make you us? part of us? It is a very strange thing to not be oneself. Is it here in that statue crypt thing? It is beneath us, yes. You what? <laughs> right? Um, I um, I will sheathe my sword because I know I can draw it super fast. Are, are you gonna go look at it? Yes. Okay, hang on. Um, excuse me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, we're going to look at that and and see what we can do to help you. But if we take it away, are they going to eat us? Well, I think we need to ask if they won't eat us. If we make the noise stop. Okay, if we make the second son disappear, will you eat us? No. And, like, the voice gets very loud to the point that I need. (laughs) Um, will... Plus focus rolls from you all. This is a state. This is a time to search. And we're going to drop some points into that. Can I use my weird point to make it favorable? You may. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to do that. You can totally use a weird point to make it favorable. Okay, i got to make it 16. Ah, that was a 13. And a 17. So we had surged a while back. Did we get that back? 
No, you got to rest for. But we have two surges. You have correct. two surges, mm -hmm. correct. How many are you spending on the roll? That's all I got. Okay. <laughs> Crit. <laughs> so you automatically succeed. You get your weird point back, mm -hmm. and you get um, the crit value of your um, for victory points. How many are you spending? Um, I will spend. I'll spend ten. Okay. Alestra, uh, you take two points of vitality damage. Ouch. Um, from the just the the sheer force of whatever this thing is screaming into your your you see me your mind. Stagger and like. Yep, a little hand. blood comes out of your nose, out of like the corner of your eye. Ew. Yes. What? <laughs> She's still a lightning rod. That's right. That's right. Every, like dried blood. That's right. Every so often, too, it's been like a like. You've cleaned up. Yeah, some it's been a right. week I mean, or two. Okay. I mean, scars. every so often you still are like, <laughs> as you're walking down. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Um, so, while they move forward, what are you doing, Alestra? Are you coming with me, or are you just letting me go by myself? Oh, I'm totally right behind you. Are you kidding me? Alexa's standing in the doorway. She's not entering. Can I get a clarification? Sure. So, when the creature screamed no, were they saying, no, do not look in the sarcophagus, or no, they won't eat us for looking in the sarcophagus? They said no. We need to clarify that before you really go forward. <laughs> Do you really want to take more brain damage? <laughs> no. <laughs> exactly. I guess I'll stay where I am, close to Alexa. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to... Peek. Two sanctuary Aeon priestesses walk into a crypt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're the healers, not, not the me. <laughs> right, so I'm going to peek around behind Gemma again and go, is that a no for touching it? No for taking it. But you want us to get rid of it? Can we look? Are you okay if we look? You may look. Don't touch it, Gemma. <laughs> Don't take it. Can't touch it. You can't touch the second sun. Okay, we don't know yet. Okay, we'll slowly approach. Okay. My fingers are twitching. And I'm gonna keep asking, like, is this okay? <laughs> is this okay? <laughs> you should make your spawn talk less. <laughs> if only I could. <laughs> are we there yet? <laughs> I don't think Jexa asked that once. <laughs> so, um, as you approach, you can see that while it is a stone uh, sarcophagus lid set into the ground, you can clearly see the synth steel outline where the stone rests on, and you can see the access plate um, that, is co that is coded. You know that most um, crypts of saints, high-ranking church officials, those sort of things, they're, they are locked. So you're going to have to find a way to bypass that lock. Yeah. Jaxa looks up with you with stars in her eyes. Well, I'm also wondering if I can, if I have the ability to bypass it. Mm, mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Knowing church girl. Um, so I'm going to ask them again. So you want us to take the second son with us? No. What do you want us to do with the second son then? Leave the second son. Clarification, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is Alestra talking to the beings. You said you would be more happy if we took all the humans. Yes. And the second son. No. Okay, cool. Thank you. We'll leave the second son and just take the humans then. It's a good time to segue back. So, I mean, my uncle died um, when he was in his like, late 120s. Late 120s, huh? Yeah, I, um, okay. this is the strangest many, guard duty that I've ever how had. How many children did he? My Father. uncle. Um, I've got two cousins, I think. Hmm. 
I got two cousins, I think. Just two? Yeah. 120 years, just two? Yeah. Weak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So are we just going to sit outside here and wait for them to come out? Um, can you try to calm them again? I can try. He does not. <laughs> What's your blood type? <laughs> um, maybe negative? Hmm. It's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> I, I, I feel like this is the weirdest job interview I've ever had. <laughs> job. Job. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> what is your fashion sense? Uh, no. Um, okay. So the door's shut. Do you have it like a way to get in? Like. Oh, this thing's been sealed for long before I was born. I didn't even know that you could get into this. Okay. As far as I knew, Lord Electo had one of the keys. But it takes two to open the door. We have Electo's key. I don't even know how they would have got in. Beatrice. Beatrice. <laughs> oh, but I don't have him with me. You all have him. Yeah. All right. So, are there any windows? Uh, there are a lot of stained glass windows kind of set up about 60 feet off the ground. Hey, Gregor. Yeah. Do we have any climbing rope? I mean, on the, on the ship, mm -hmm. maybe. I think we have any... I don't know, are any nerve climbing grapples? Yeah, we've Let's... got some molecular grapples. We use them when we, you Can know, we board boots? other... I mean... Wait. Take things out Gregor. of the ship. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, powerful producer. <laughs> 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 don't hit the mic either. <laughs> Short for that one. <laughs> Jeff's motorcycle. Is it still on the ship? Yeah. We gotta <laughs> we, we gotta go get that. You want me to go get it? Or is the first one nobody heard me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's we need to go back to the ship. Come on, young. Bessarian, we'll talk more about your mother's side of the family. We'll now. have to get you. We'll have to get you suits. Um, I mean, we can talk with the Lord Electo, or I can see what we Is have. Is there a rock there. anywhere? <laughs> yeah, there's. Gregor, throw a fucking rock. <laughs> he whips it, yeah. and it kind of hits and bounces off the glass. Well, it's a good thing I didn't use Jex's motorcycle up that. I'm an awkward. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you would have looked undignified. <laughs> All right. This isn't working. Mm. We have one piece of the key. Well, yeah, we, we, tried, we tried blasting at it. Um, very limited things. Obviously, we didn't want to destroy St. Beatrice's temple, but... Okay, I'm just going to sit down and think for a while, and she's just going to crisscross applesauce and just, huh. So are we going to, we're going to stay here, Captain? Or I'm going to go with that other... Thinking. What, you're going to throw him into the stained glass? I mean, <laughs> Ooh, I <can> try. <laughs> Head first. <laughs> yeah. The Syrian's like... <laughs> We're kidding. We're, we're kidding, child. You can just relax. Yes, because two people who just arrived off from off-world for the first time in a thousand years are joking about throwing me through a window and have been asking me very personal questions <laughs> about my family history, yes. education, yep. and romantic practices. Are you a virgin? <laughs> I, he flushes all the way up. I don't have to answer that. That is not in my duties. Takes that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, Gregor, no. <laughs> Yeah, 
Okay. Are there any other, There's. this is the only entrance, right? This is the only entrance. That we're aware of. That you are aware of. <laughs> I don't want to make decisions. Um, can I, can I, I'm going to, I'm going to take a walkabout and uh, see if I find anything else. Okay. Give me a perception plus observation roll. You kind of circle the whole thing. You do at this point notice that the, the beacon that was lit on top of the, the cathedral kind of is flickering. flickers, and then it doesn't seem to just go out. It seems to almost retract away, like the light fades up and away from the... Oh, good. Oh, fair light. reminiscent of Beatrice and me. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but nothing falls into a, black, a brown star. <laughs> That's good. She breaks out to a cold sweat and <laughs> starts checking her balls. <laughs> it, uh, it is racing. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> thank you, GM. Thank you. <laughs> I simulate the entire world for you. Okay. <coughs> um, How far away is Major Pecana? Um, you don't know. You haven't actually m met her, but no, you can. You can. Sorry, I'm asking the 17 year old. My bad. Oh, sorry, Viserion. Um, mm -hmm. The major. Uh, she's at the when you when you came in the uh, through the city gates. Uh, the the guard station's kind of right there. It can take you there. How do you know the major? You know what? I'm asking the questions here. All right. Okay. All right. Um, I. Yes. I to answer yours, though, I, no, I don't. I'm just, I'm running out of options here, and I'm really running out of shirts, and I'm starting to be stressed because I can't get in to this stupid temple, and she's going to kick it lightly with her toe. Kang. Okay. <laughs> <gasps> Feel better. Let's go. All right. As you head off towards the Major's facilities. You're gonna try and get into the... I'm gonna ask if I can, or not if I can, if they will let me inspect the interior of this. Your kind uses your outer organ as a sensual, sensory perceptor. You may proceed. Um, <laughs> you say so. Um, it says <laughs> you can also access secure church data files. Yes. So you have a legitimate password to bypass church data encryption. So are you going to use it? Yes. Okay. Self planted a hippo for Maddie. Um, the the lid uh, responds to the access code, yes. and it gives you a a, a, a series of uh, of choices. Um, you can open it. Mm -hmm. You can turn the the shield transparent. And then there's also like, all, like access the menus, the, the maintenance records, all of that sort of thing. Do we want to open it or just see in it? <laughs> um, maybe maybe just look in it first. So um, I missed so the last see. three digits of your password. What was that again? <laughs> Nanya. <laughs> <laughs> Hippo Nanya three. Um, you see the the it starts um, with the hands of the carving. If you remember, it's it's Beatrice kind of resting there and she's holding, and it 
it starts to go transparent. And uh, first the stone goes transparent and then you see like a, a metallic sheen, like a second cover, which you know is, uh, I mean, it's basically NBC proof, nuclear chemical or biological chemical proof. Like, uh, because when that layer goes transparent, you see the body of Beatrice the Saint as she looks in the um, in the frescoes towards the end of her life, mm -hmm. completely inviolate to to the ravages of time. Like you're guessing, her eyes could open. I mean, it looks as I mean, it looks as if her eyes could open at any point. So is this? a miraculous preservation or is this a result of her entombment? Sainthood, uh, she wasn't entombed here on Limbo. Like, as far as far as you remember, right? Right, and that's like, what I'm trying she kind to... Of dis, you know, kind of disappeared. But no, this, according to like how you would, like how Gemma understands things, this is incorruptibility. Like it's one of the final signs of sainthood. Okay. What are you doing? Um... They're sitting. The up. Okay. Um, <laughs> is there anything out of the ordinary in the sarcophagus for her? You do see um, towards the the end of the sarcophagus that faces um, the commune. Um, there is a chunk of the sarcophagus is, is missing, and it looks as if there's a thin tendril that gets thinner and thinner and thinner thinner and it stops about a finger's span from her face. And what color is it? It's the same black, all like very um, uh, luminescent, you know, not luminescent, but kind of shimmering, kind of oily black material that this creature race seems to species. I'm sorry, you guys, did you open the sarcophagus? Mm -hmm. okay. well, the they lady, didn't open it, they looked through it. They made it go clear. Oh, and then there's a lady in it? Mm -hmm. And Beatrice. is it Beatrice? Mm -hmm. Oh, how cute. Okay, continue, sorry. Um, is that you? That oh, is us. What are you, What is your connection? No connection. We could not approach any closer. And that is when she, the second sun, began to shine to us. How does she shine to you? Can you not sense it? The light? It is blinding and painful and transformative in ways that we do not understand or are comfortable with. But it makes us the commune. So you want to remain the commune? We cannot go back to what we were. And you think if we remove her, that will take the commune away? Yes. Well, Beatrice didn't say that we need to take her anywhere. So do we want to leave her and them? And get everybody else off this planet. We can leave you and the lady, if that is what you wish. What we wish is for that. Will you let us leave? And by us, I mean everyone? Not many. And it gives you that squelching thought again. Your whole brain feels kind of a little oily. <laughs> so it's Sorry, saying, that was just such a descriptor that hit me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's saying we cannot take everybody off the planet. No, it's it, what it's... Uh, it hasn't finished. It hasn't finished. So <laughs> yeah, it makes a squelching noise. They are not the communed. Those we come in contact with are the communed. We speak for the communed. They will let you go. Can, okay, again, peering over <laughs> beyond Beatrice. 
Uh, so there's the commune, which is you, and those yes. that come in contact with the second sun. Um, does that mean that the other things outside of the dome, the <laughs> things, um, <laughs> like I'm trying to like replicate that noise, and I clearly can't. Um, You've insulted us. You must die now. <laughs> uh, they they. Do they like you? They are not us. For the first time in our existence, we are not one. Oh, that's awkward. So the ones in the dome are different than the ones outside. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, okay. Um, if it takes... Uh, it might take us some time to get everybody off the planet. Will, will you give us that time? We will not make any move to leave the second sun. Awesome. You're great. <laughs> I like turn like a bucket <laughs> ahead of Gemma. <laughs> I grab Alexa's arm and I'm like, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Um, I want all of you guys to give me an in intuition plus focus roll or a faith plus focus roll for um, Gemma if that is better for her. What about me? Can I do faith plus focus? You're not actually. Uh... You're not actually faithful. I have church ordination. You bought your church ordination. That's a better roll. <laughs> Okay, I made it. <laughs> With one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You make it? Mm -hmm. What about you? Yes. Uh, so you guys, as you, you know, you do have the, uh, the icon that looks like it may fit in the other key lock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you can get that com confessional thing going back up, you know who has the... Passcodes to get past? Yeah. Yeah, did you ask that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a second. If you can get into that crypt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so I'm... So they have clearly already violated the airtight. Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> Gemma yeah, is it's going not... to ask, she's just going to say, she's just going to open it and leave something, and I will show them what I'm going to leave, but it's nothing harmful. What is it? And I, I pull out a little drum that Gemma has. Just going to leave this. What is it? It's an instrument, and I will what show is them how that works. Very lightly, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I love Blair. Place the sick girl starts wobbling. All right, babe. So I will, I will open that and I will. It, the, normally, when you, you're expecting kind of like the same thing that, like when the when the chapel opened, that the the doors opened up and you know, the the pressure that doesn't happen because it's yeah, basically been equalized. Right. But uh, again, a seam sort of appears and it opens out. There's at least the physical remains of Beatrice. Right. She'll take it. She'll look at it for a second. You, you kind of see her warring with herself a little bit, and then she just sets it in and then reseals it. And then are you going to go? Yeah. All right. Um, you will tell them that we are not a threat. Yeah. Or nothing. Yeah. What are you called besides the commune? What is, what is your race? That's we are the commune. We are no longer squelching noise in your brain. Cool. Never really get used to that. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. cool. It's like someone put slime right up against your ear and pulled it out the other Stop. ear. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I'm just gonna try to replicate that noise. And just Here's the thing, it. like body horror, totally fine with. Like, 
If you want to talk about pulling somebody's face off, I got yeah, yeah, you. That's so right. I get brains and squelching, and I'm just tap out. All right, tap so you guys out. are heading back towards, you guys are leaving yes. the commune? I'm going to back out. Okay. <laughs> Just keeping. I, I'm holding. dragging Alexa with me. Well, where, Alexa and I are where, kind of leaving. Right. Well, like I was retreat. running, and I was like, "Let's go, let's go, let's go." Grabbed her. Yeah. All right, and you're going. <laughs> you're following as well. All right. You make it to the front of the city. Okay. And at this point, um, you have been joined by Luenzo, who is walking a little bit better <laughs> and a little bit. Uh, he has a, a little bit of, like, glassy-eyed to, to him. All right, so you're going to go talk with the Major. We can use your ship. Not yet. I haven't talked to No, they asked me a lot of questions, Lieutenant. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> you answer all of them. Do you understand me? <laughs> he, he, he didn't answer all of them, for the record. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. A nice shade of like vermilion. Like, yeah. Um, all right, well, you'll talk with the major. I heard that you made contact with those inside the temple. That, no. Incorrect. That's the problem. Well, I mean, I talked to them for a little bit, but then she was asking me about my. You didn't talk to them at all. You were bending over. Oh, it's so static here. I can't hear them. They, they told me to take the key. I told you that. And then you said, don't tell them about my family history. Tell you about my family history. I am so confused. <laughs> Gregor, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> all right. So they lead you into the, um, the guard station. You can see that there, remember you kind of came in through the gate and there was not a second gate, but there was a second set of barricades. You can see that they they are setting up high energy output, like emplacement guns. Okay. Um, they're sort of building them as kind of a second line of defense um, just inside the city walls. And the woman overseeing them is a um, abnormal, like not abnormally so, but a very tall woman. Um, your guess is that she's probably in her 60s or 70s, okay. but she is just ordering everyone around, getting the guns placed, telling people to move them, that sort of thing. And uh, Luenzo Major, as you requested, and she turns around, and although she seems old, she seems not, like, the weight of age doesn't seem to, like, rest on her shoulders. So you're the captain of the ship that just appeared out of the sky for the first time in light knows how long. Yep. Just flying around the universe and fell through the wrong gate? Not the wrong gate, but we didn't exactly expect these results. Can't imagine anyone would want to visit this place. I'm picking that up. So, your lieutenant has told me that you need to borrow my ship. Yes. So the problem with that is, is nobody borrows my ship. I use my ship, and I'll use it for other people, because sometimes I happen to be a pretty decent person. Sometimes. See, it's that sometimes that, uh, that's why I took the chance. Yeah, well, you almost cost your man a lung and the other lung. Both lungs. She kind of looks at Luenzo and he's like, not looking anywhere at this point. <laughs> he's looking at the formless gray sky as it passes overhead. Yeah. Def definitely, almost both. Did he threaten you? No. Did he threaten him? Um, you know, I didn't ask. Gregor's very sensitive when it comes to our ship. <laughs> it's very important to us. It is the only oh boy in all of existence. So it's kind of... At least in this solar system? It's 
the only old boy in existence, so it's kind of important to us. My apologies. <laughs> so, what is it going to cost me to use your ship and use it quietly? I need help getting into that temple. Why? My people are inside and I can't open it. Oh my. He let them in. <laughs> And this little one took the key. Which, by, by the way, he hasn't answered all of my questions yet. I have a lot of them. They're not over yet. I'm just giving him a break. Uh, Basarian looks like a wild animal trying to find a way out in the midst of this courtyard. Like, he briefly looks at the gate outside the city. <laughs> Go back does, to school. <laughs> he doesn't answer to you. He answers to me. Yeah, well, if you... But if that's the cost of using the ship, then I will make sure that you, <laughs> you could put the screws to him, if you like. When one gets to be on my ship, while I facilitate what you want it to do... Yes. yes. He's told you, Lorenzo, or Luenzo has told you what is... I've heard I've yet to make a decision. Because I haven't been able to talk to my people, because I can't get in to speak to my people, we get you in. Which the people of my line of work have spent a very long time ensuring doesn't happen. You. Well, we're having a pause off. I see. Okay. Well, <laughs> I don't have any love for anything on this planet, frankly. I like a small group of people. I'll do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Gregor raises his hand. <laughs> He's, yes, you're, you're one of them. <laughs> so, you want me to kill a pope? I don't care. I don't care. I have a ship. That's the great part about this. I don't know if popes exist in this world. Or we're gonna go <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty bargainable. I have very specific reasons to want to first get my people, and then, sure, why not? We'll help you. Has anyone ever told you you are crazy? Yes, many a time. Which I, I kind of crazy. Thank you. Do you have, you said you had Electo's key? Yes. Sadly, the other key was destroyed. Accidentally. By the military. You see the other two kind of go wide-eyed. And that secret will go to your graves. Whether you die of natural causes or later today. Or missing lungs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you hear this very weak sound sort of escape from the lieutenant. The Syrian kind of looks at him. <laughs> that will get you in. Your friends have already gotten in, then you just got in the same way they did, of course. Yep. Are we clear, gentlemen? Sir? All right. All right. Um, the Syrian comes with us. Uh, consider yourself promoted to liaison between Captain... Calypso. Captain Calypso, Calypso and Mars. myself. Pleasure to meet you, Calypso Mars. Come and see me. All right. All right, you dogs, before the light fades and darkness invades us all. She goes back to. So you guys get back up, back through the catacombs, up the stairs. Uh, the lights have again just gone completely dim. Like even a little bit of light from the beacon above is is gone, and you hear the. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. What? What is that? Is this, is this sculpture? Gravitational sculpture. We have to look to that. <laughs> As you guys kind of head down. Do we need anything else in here? It's a good question. Whether we need it or not, I don't know that we should take it. 
Uh, I look at the altar real quick before we head out because we didn't look at the altar last time. Did we? Mm -mm. Let's just take a peek at the altar as they're heading out and bringing up the rear. Okay. What are you looking for at the altar? The one that's made up of all of the reflectors that projected. Yes. The um, just trying to study it. I've I've never come across any kind of temple to Beatrice other than the Temple of the Silent Lady, but and that did chapel, not yeah. have the chapel yeah. did not have the same altar structure. So just want to see if there's if, if there's anything mechanical about it or if it's just a series of reflectors and it's her light that emanates every time she hits it. Um, it's definitely that second one. Like you don't really even you're familiar enough with church you have the cap I mean, you have capabilities around this so that you have a good sense for what kind of normal altars would look like in chapels and cathedrals and temples. This is this is something unique. Okay. Is there anything left on the altar or is it just the reflecting materials? Um roll faith. Just faith. You gotta have faith. I was just doing it too. <laughs> that was going on in my head. <laughs> uh, success. Awesome. Um, there is, there's something kind of left there in the center. It looks like something that at first looks like it was etched. But you can see it's a um, a small octagonal disc that kind of you can pull free out of the center if you wanted to. Does it look like it's going to damage anything if I pull it out? No. So Beatrice also said she's not coming back here. So that's true. I'll pop it out. Okay. When you kind of the the top has been burnished to a mirror like sheen. You're guessing from all of the times that Beatrice has mm -hmm. kind of rested here. Um, when you flip it over, however, you can see that there are a series of numbers that kind of spiral very tightly in. And it looks like, at first, you think that it looks like a set of jump codes, but it's too long for a set of jump codes. Um, but it moves around in a regular sequence, sort of spiraling in towards the center. Okay. I will pocket that for later. Okay. Cool. Uh, As you guys get towards the door, the you see the white seam appear, and the doors kind of open up, and the light from the back kind of shows a shadowed figure that, as your eyes sort of adjust, oh no. you see... Calypso standing there. I totally go Calypso, run and jump, and give her a big hug. Oh goodness! <laughs> I'm really glad it was not like Viserion. Like, <laughs> so the first thing you see. No, no, it's Calypso. I can swing her around. around. Give her a good hug. <laughs> You're okay. You're okay. Uh, you just, now. Like, walk out and like pat you on the shoulder. So hi. Thanks oh, for opening see. the door. You all didn't Hi, die. I'm Jexa. Um, Basarian. Nice, <laughs> nice to meet you. I think I saw you. Yes. His you father has Gerald's disease. <laughs> um, Ganald's shirt. Gerard. Gerard. Ganald's. Ganald's disease. G Ganald's disease. Yeah. Can't. Okay. Who's <laughs> that? You want to know? <laughs> yeah, my name's Jexa. Nice <laughs> and they come out, close the doors. Can we relock these? Yeah, as soon yeah. She, Calypso pulls out a key that looks almost identical to the one that uh, How Selecto, uh, Seferis and How Selecto had. Oh, I make sure Virgil comes out. Yeah, oh, Alexa's oh, okay. with you. Okay, Alexa's with us, got it. That was, that was harrowing. <laughs> yes. Yes, it was. <laughs> that was an excellent word choice. Lock the door, pull the key out, and stick it in my pocket. Uh, I have the key. Where's the key? She, oh. <laughs> yeah, there's the one that you had. Well, you actually. I have there, two. You, well, you have. Yeah, there was two. You, you had the military one. You had the military one. We gotta get that back. But then you had two pieces to make. It doesn't matter. 
I'm just now confused. I didn't imagine anything's wrong. It's fine. Moving on. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> so, um, you guys went inside the temple. Was it terrifying? It's not the word I would use. Okay. Well, no, even in the upper level, we got attacked. You Beatrice attacked? is great. You, you met the Lady of Light? Yes, yes for the okay. second time. It's lovely. She answered my questions. Second time. I've met her several times. And she had a thing on her face. It's a really long story. Do you want to hear it? I, I, I rather do. Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> I start just chattering about all the stuff that has happened in the last <laughs> six weeks. <laughs> uh, Basarian is a brawl. Half of it like, is like, not quite set. And then, well, actually, before that was the moment like, yeah, it's one of those. <laughs> We're going to herd them as we start walking. And they can walk. Chattering. Yeah, no. They can walk and they talk. Yeah. Yeah. Basarian can even chew bubble gum. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> tell it. Um, it's that Gerardo's disease. Gnalls. <laughs> 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 Springer disease. Gnalls <laughs> <Ganals> disease. <laughs> it's, it's not hereditary anyway. <laughs> uh, as we were walking, I'll show you. Do these numbers make any sense to you? Uh, no. Give me a. Sorry, if this melts your brain and you now die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give fun. me a wits plus piloting roll. Pilate. Fourteen. Fourteen. Eight. Wait, is it real? Oh. Oh. I'm gonna spend two point or four points of the. You can yeah, to just increase bump it up to twenty. You guys okay. have to do three because twenty is always a fail. Right. So get it to nineteen. 19. Okay. Yeah. Watch this happen as a twenty. Oh no, it's a two. There you go. Yeah. So, so you get seven, the two nine, spend eight, back. seven. So it's back to nine. Alex, is it back to that's ten? Oh. You're at a sixteen plus two. Stay in school, kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> um Yeah. There, it's a series. <laughs> for a long time. Here we are. <laughs> it's a series of nested jump codes. It would take you a while to decipher all of them, but this is basically like a shadow route key. It'll get you into places that like normal jump gates won't. Like normal, when you activate a jump gate, it, it you send the code and it takes you to the destination that you want to go to. There are, the rest of you know that there are rumors of these things called shadow routes that uh, pirates use all the time. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, okay. uh, it would take quick. you a while to, fi to figure out, you, you'd have to identify what jump gates these codes belong to. You're not even sure why they would be here mm -hmm. in a temple on Limbus or even be associated with Beatrice. But that's your... That's your guess at what they are. Okay. Um, can I have, like, kind of, can I, how long, when you say a while, is it going to, like, am I going to need to, like, study this throughout part of the journey kind of thing? Yes. I, she's going to make that part of her, like, personal mission, though, to fix it. Okay. Up. I need help. Yeah. That's fine. I don't break it. I didn't say anything. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you take it back now. You're gonna Gregor! Break it. <laughs> you want to go? No. <laughs> no, I, have a, I don't even have my bouquet of knives. I threw no, a I... man into a mirror. <laughs> For a good reason? Is... Yeah, he wanted, he wanted the he old boy. Is he seriously hurt? Do we need to heal him? No, he's fine. I got it. He was. He was seriously hurt, though. <laughs> we made it. I actually made it worse. I pulled the shard glass out. It was funny. He was going. Ah! Alexa's like. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's fine. He's he's fine. You can worry not your pretty little head. You, but we met Beatrice today. We saw Beatrice today. I think we need to get.
get some food and Alexa, her blood sugar is low and she cannot process everything right now. No, it, uh, my whole life has been... You've been hanging out with her before when she was... Yes. You know. I never thought I would see her bones. Oh. Her relics. Have her talk to me. I should get her a cheeseburger. Yeah, okay. We'll we make I space think so. for meditation. I would appreciate that. Is Nigel all right? I mean, <laughs> we left him in the room. He's been fine. It's, it's, you should go check on him right now. And she heads off. Yeah. <laughs> that's fascinating. Just, that's fascinating. I mean, yeah, and then like. Would you like to have more conversation? Yes. Over... Because I haven't even told you about the zombies. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so we're on this uh, planet called Ravenna. Okay. So I'll walk over and be like, do you want to hear about how I burnt... <laughs> how I cut them all in half? I mean, oh my gosh. How she got she's struck really by lightning like ten times and still lived to tell the tale. It's so a... just like a very like... <laughs> do you want to give me an intimidation roll? <laughs> Can I like somehow aid? How do aid? I do that? Can I press? aid her? Is there like press plus what? Is there a support plus presence? Yeah. Do you want to? Yeah, want to help. help? Her. All right. I, I totally like. I'm just gonna be standing <laughs> back going. So how do I help? Because this is all just. Uh, give me your impress <laughs> plus presence roll. Impress plus presence. Yeah. Jax is just like, oh, a friend. Whoa. That's a sister. Because I jacked that up. The most VP spent on a roll tonight, <laughs> and to intimidate this. Poor guy that Jax is. I'm not very intimidating. Let Standing next to her, I'm kind of short. So, There's... but I feel I, I. You didn't get it. I rolled okay. a couple too high, so. Fine. Had you got it, she would have got extra VP to. Gotcha. Okay. Learning. <laughs> I'm not gonna harm him. I'm just. There is a strong mothering sense. Mothering, protective. I've cut things in half. It was really lungs. cool. Uh, I love that you just miss it. Oh, yeah, no. It's... <laughs> like, what What things are we talking about? Zombies, big black sludge things. How about what people. hasn't she done? People. She, become, she became a human um, grounding pole and survived. But yeah, we told you all about that. She got struck like four times. Four times. I. It's really cool. <laughs> like, so, okay, so there's this disc. <laughs> yeah, I, uh. I would love to continue this conversation. <laughs> me too. But I, I think the major needs me. And. Oh. I'm, I mean, I'm, you're welcome to carry on the conversation. I just, you might want to hear a military perspective. So the the mechanics perspective and then the military perspective. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'd like to keep talking. <laughs> you see this flash of confusion and slight terror just pass over. But I mean, okay. Yes, I would like, I really would like to hear your story and... Hey, There's also the piece of Gemma doesn't know what she's doing because Gemma's curse is that she's clueless and misses social cues. So part of it is sort of protective, part of it is I don't understand why he's sweating now. I just want to tell him how I just slice things in half. Why is that slicing things? What? Well, I feel like this is a good part to point to take our break for the, uh, the evening. We'll be back here in about 10 minutes. So, hope you're enjoying it. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll be back in 10.
All right. Well, we're back, I think. And so we're just going to keep rolling with it. So. <laughs> so, Basarian, uh, yeah, we can get food later. Yeah. Yes? <laughs> he never asked you to get food. It was heavily, I mean, I would love to get food with you. That would be. We need to go talk to Sopranos. I am not done grilling him about his genetic history of his parents. <laughs> Why would you yet? be grilling him about his genetic history of his parents? It's important. You didn't ask me about it. I didn't need to. I already knew. Do you know about his genetic history? <laughs> no, but she's. Did you grill Alastra about her genetic history? I'm not needing her genetic history. Why do you need his? <laughs> we don't know yet, but we're going to find out. <laughs> He could be a face dealer for all you know. He... I'm just asking the sensitive. No, questions. look, I'm not. And he takes out one of the little scanners and it it goes green. I, I swear, I'm not a yeah, face no, dealer. I believe it. Also, yeah. Well, why don't you all go get your meal? We need to go talk to Lord Supremus. Um, I... So, it's good. You're green and your uncle lived to be 120. It's, yes. You must be healthy as a horse. What's a horse? Very large animal on different planets. Jackson, he doesn't know what a horse is. He's never been from this planet. Give him breaks. Come on. You sit down. <laughs> <laughs> well, in all fairness, you... I have never physically seen a horse either. I've read about them and I've seen them in this, the different simulations, but. Gregor? What's, what's a horse? Yeah. Where's the nearest? Not, not here, but when, when, we, when we go back to anywhere that we understand, where would be, we should find the nearest place to have a horse that we should go. Just write it on here. Horse or horse person? Because there's the alien race. That, I know. I okay, yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. No, no the, the ones that gallop and whinny and have four legs. Yeah. Okay, four Just legs. Yeah, yeah four okay, legs. Like, yeah. Still horse person, still horse person. <laughs> Maybe horse person. <laughs> <laughs> right. Fading Suns is filled with wonderful and unique alien races. I was one, and then I died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was... It, it, it happens a, a lot. Um, I mean, I can take you to the mess if, if you're hungry. Well, yeah. You're in the temple for some time. And then I can tell you all about Ravenna. Okay. shit that went down there. Okay. I mean, stuff. It's delicate. It's not the one I said earlier. No, he's like, he's, he's like... <laughs> Seeing if Jem is going to kill him for it. Are you coming too? <laughs> yes, she is. I haven't eaten. She's hungry. <laughs> oh, okay, so this is, a, this is like a debriefing. Yeah. But not a debriefing. This is where people <laughs> all join together to share a meal. Yeah. And all I'm... together, all hearing each other and seeing each Didn't other. Didn't you need to go talk to somebody? Right. She's hungry. <laughs> I, um... I also need to clean my sword and I pull it out. It's still got all that black ichor on it. <laughs> I just start, like, cleaning it up. This is ho, really ho, the soap. Ho. Whoa. He, he pulls out... He pulls out a can. I, I need to, and he, and you see the scanner goes red on your sword. Yeah. I understand that you killed it, but it could still be active. And he, and the stuff just, it, it freezes, and then he just kind of hits it with the butt of the can, and it just shatters and dusts. The sword's fine, though, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're also probably covered, especially that one's probably covered in it. Because it's squelched on you. It chewed on my face. <laughs> also, did it I guess, did it? we get all cleaned up first? Um, yeah, I'll take you all to the... <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, for safe... It's like a new face peel. <laughs> You've so never exfoliated <laughs> so well. Um, we will. Uh, protocol says that you have to be go through decontamination. Okay. To verify. That's okay. okay. I'm just assuming I'm I'm covered in like black thicker splatters, so it's kind of obvious. 
All right, um, follow me. And he actually like takes a pretty big step away and kind of should you shouldn't get close to them until they've been proven. They are. <laughs> I did. I did jump on that calypso. She's no yeah. human. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to go through decom too. How long does that take? One, two hours. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Can we take food with us? I don't think you want to eat food after it's been exposed to the decontamination procedure. One to two hours where you're going to be very far away, right? Um, I don't need to be decontaminated. <laughs> Listen here. <laughs> um, and he like, uh, we have a, we have a decom. Um, That's a 2318. <laughs> yeah, 2318. <laughs> and pretty soon there are four other guards and they kind of take you all um, to, there are a number of different of these, uh, you kind of recognize them, these, these squat gray buildings that look to be among the newer ones placed throughout the city, at least the parts that you have seen. And they usher you in, they're like, all right, we're gonna need you to take, they give you like two big bins apiece. All right, clothes, items, smocks. We're getting these back, right? Uh, as long as they come back clean. I was just okay. hugged. Listen, if it was a live culture you were exposed to, it could already be trying to worm its way into you. I'm sorry, Calypso. I'm going to need like three bins. And this is a lesson. They, they pull out two more <laughs> and then like a, 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 <laughs> just to, to be okay. All right, well, shoo. Gregor's like, good luck. <laughs> All right, he wasn't hugged. He wasn't hugged. I mean, you can hug him now. <laughs> <laughs> He'd let me, which is the problem. So, we, Gregor just watched the freaking ship. Just stare at it through the thing. Just... Got a cap. <laughs> yes. Um, Abby talking here. We need to hide one of the keys because all of the people think one key has been destroyed. Oh, I've totally given my key to Gregor. There was... Something happened, just so there it is. Okay, great. <laughs> just so we have that stated. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Now we can proceed. Okay. So you guys are stuck in decom for at least an hour. What do you guys? It is a. It is a. There's a door. You walk into a very brightly lit white room. Benches along three sides, and as soon as the door seals, you can hear it. I take a short rest. <laughs> right. um, Cover all my hit dice. <laughs> um, um, well, when powder we... starts falling from the ceiling. So, Air cycles very weirdly. I don't know if any of you guys would have seen this yet, but Jex's whole left arm is a cyber arm, and her whole left side has little surgical scars. Just... But the only cyber part is the arm. I feel like I knew that already. I don't know if I, she knew that or if I knew that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. In a way, she still accepts you for who you are. Okay. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> uh, Gemma will turn in Jackson and say, want to practice your meditation? Sure. <laughs> I guess if we have to sit in here for two hours. Um, <laughs> you do you. <laughs> okay. And I will, I will follow. Oh, where's Alexa? She's with you. She came okay. out of the temple. Right, but she ran no, out she ran into Oh, no, nine. no, she was, she was escorted back here. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. So she's in here. So yeah. I will follow Gemma and Alexa. And if Alestra also leads the meditation, I'm like, what about Virgil? Is there a bag? Looks like a statue. He's getting tea comped in a different way. For <laughs> 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 so, yes. so someday when we have a big budget of highly teamed and very fast animators, we'll be able to cut to those scenes that Lee suggests that I immediately see in my brain. <laughs> 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 Scrubby, scrubby, scrubby. <laughs> this is a very detailed statue. <laughs> 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 Alright, 
you gotta get in every credit. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> let me get that. So you guys are meditating for the the time yeah. being? Might as well. I guess. All right. I'm taking a nap. Just stretching out, taking a nap. I do need more. You nap. I am snoring. <laughs> you nap well. Um, you're not entirely sure how long it is. I mean, you are. You have an AI in your head that keeps track of time. It's uh, 97 and three quarters minutes later. Okay. The door's open and the major is standing there. So you found your friends. <laughs> right? Oh, yes. You've been given... Oh, okay. <laughs> we're, we're in like spa clothes. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Big Terry towel. <laughs> Hairs down. Yeah, <laughs> cucumbers on. Yes. It's, it's part of decomp. <laughs> uh, it's facial for me. Decomp that's detox. Right. That's right. Yeah, you know. Um, <coughs> you have my key. Um, I do not. Gregor do does. They have my. Oh, good. Be ashamed to have two. Well, we don't have to, so that's fine. So I assume these are your people? Yes. <laughs> these are my people. Really? They're going to help. Clips is rubbing off on me. They don't. No, they're going to help, but they're going to help. All right. Uh, because you're, the, you're obviously the soldier in the bunch. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's what she says. So her and the other one, I understand. What other one? The other big one. The big oh. dumb one. Gregor. Gregor. He's not dumb! <laughs> he, he knows what he knows. He's actually a journeyman in the guild, in the engineer's guild. He knows. So standards have fallen over the last thousand years. He knows what he knows. So actually, uh, <laughs> you're right. Gregor's got a very high wits. He just yeah. can't. He's not good at emotes. Yeah, there, there's a there's a disconnect yeah. between what he knows and what he can say. And yeah. Calypso just throws him off every single time anyway. <laughs> so, like, if we get talking computers, I, uh, he, he just goes and rambles and everything, yeah. but... Usually in binary. Yeah. Yeah, because it's the easiest. One, 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 three, one. Wait, there's no one. one, one, one there's zero. no threes. It, one, 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 zero, zero. one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so... I assume you are special skills. Why do I feel like I'm getting a jerk? She band aids good. So does Alexa. Uh, because you are. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys we're going on a mission. Wait, what? <laughs> and a child? Why? She's got an awesome AI arm. Mm. I don't like it. She mechanics. Level things. eight? Something. I think she's like it. Huh. She's got a resistance. <laughs> I don't like it. Well, I do, and that's the problem for you all. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't go outside the shield dressed like you're going to a spa. These are quite comfortable, but I guess we will sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing what you could do in the year 5,000. Gone are the days are of, of seat warmers. These are robe warmers. Yeah. <laughs> Small clothes warmers. Well. My fingers are warm in my pockets. <laughs> get dressed and gear up and we have some discussions to do. I will go find your man and make sure that that, oh. I'm your man. In case she didn't make it clear, I don't know how you got into the temple at first, but that is how you got out. Yep. There was never a second key. What key? Exactly. You'll stay alive. Pretty sure we need to go talk to Lord Sophronis. No. We do. No. Yeah, we yeah. do. Um, Not about what we're doing now, but about what we found in there. Okay, mm -hmm. that's fair. Okay, fine. He's the one who gave us the key. Oh, we should give that back. Okay. I can trust your discretion. Those two for sure. I'm not entirely sure about that one just yet. So 
I'm being honest. She is new to our our band. Is what <laughs> I'm like like so. <laughs> Yes, I'm I'm uh, of the order of the the silent lady. I know how to. The lady of the light. <laughs> I really just wanted to see the major do that. Uh, the major yes. kind of is like. All right. I'll be listening. Come and find me when you're done. Sounds good. I don't like her at all, Alexis says after she leaves. Yeah, I don't like her either. Did you get the feeling that she'll also be watching? She said she'll be listening. Yeah, but you also get the feeling that she'll be watching. Yeah. I get the feeling that she's been on a planet that is very inhospitable towards people, and she's pretty fed up about it, and she's ready to be done. That's my personal opinion. Also, it's a good thing we might be able to take everybody out. Mm -hmm. Eventually. On my ship? No, we, said we, we take, take your ship, ship first. to a no. jump gate. Oh, right, and then we get a bigger get ship. A bigger right. ship <laughs> I was part of that back. plan. You were. I actually, yes. yes I could, you could I made it. Turn, I concocted this plan. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was brilliant. Calypso, have you had a really hard, like, just day. I kicked the temple. <laughs> oh, is your foot okay? It hurts. <laughs> I don't, I mean. Can I hug you again? Now that we're not deep, okay. uncontaminated. I think we're just contaminated. <laughs> all right. Okay, so I guess we, is it, do we get all of our stuff back? You do, all of your stuff is there. Is Virgil? Virgil is there as well. Okay. Looking much like he always does when he is not talking. So does he look a little bit shinier? <laughs> <laughs> he's a bit cleaner. Cool. He does. I mean, he's he's made of stone, or at least it looks like right. he's made of stone. So it's not like you can actually. You can polish stone. Not gray stone, but he does look clean. Oh God! All right. <laughs> We take these robes with us. <laughs> oh, I'm totally taking mine. I'm not getting this back. <laughs> we just made it canon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this is the point done. that I lost control of this. <laughs> it was like right now. In case you're wondering. Let's just grab all our stuff and go talk to Lord Surprise and get food. And then take me a food. minute to suit up. <laughs> yeah, it actually takes you like closer to ten. Can you help? Help. Sure. <laughs> Strap. Look, Calypso, I made this light that attaches to her armor so she can have a light and use potions on her sword. I appreciate the ingenuity. You are very creative. Thank you. <laughs> Here, Toss. <laughs> Your little brain. So, we're going to talk with the Lord. Oh, I'll talk to you guys. We have to return his key and let him know mm -hmm. what talked about with Beatrice. Yes, what we talked about with Beatrice. Mm -hmm. With Beatrice. Maybe keep what was in the crypts. Like I said, what we talked about with Beatrice. I yep. think I will uh, go check on Nigel. Pretty idea. I kind of want to come with you. <laughs> you are more than welcome to. Okay. Um... <laughs> Why is that? I'm afraid I'm going to say something. Yeah, let her go with Alexa. Should I, should I go with Alexa? Yeah. She would take care of Well, you. should we eat first? Yeah. <laughs> and I think you should definitely <laughs> go with, with Alexa. Her. Okay, I will go with Alexa. I'll bring you food. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Alexa. <laughs> I'm hungry too, so maybe we all go eat. Same table. Same table. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Let's and go eat. And then go <laughs> see Lord's friend. I mean, he's waited this long, he can wait a little longer. Yeah, let's, let's go eat. Because it's been, what, an hour and a half since we initially said food. Jim is yes. hungry. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta, you gotta refuel the tank, or else it just does it just falls like. It falls out. <laughs> there we go. I'm bad at this. 
<laughs> You're learning. It's a learning curve. I think very long for my curve. It's more like steep hill. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so. So I guess we're going to go eat first. All right. And then. You can either eat in your quarters, or um, Basarian talked about possibly um, talked about something called the mess. I like the mess. mess. Well, I will get food from the mess and bring it back for Nigel and Alexa in the quarters. Don't look at me. I'm just the GM. Um, it takes you a while to find this mess. It's attached to... Uh, it's in a, a section of the city that belongs to the guards where they kind of you know house the barracks. And, and it's a large... Looks like it may at one point have been like a market or um, some place where a lot of different vendors were selling goods, but it is now turned into one large mess hall. Okay. And yeah, you can go stand in line. They, you know, quickly dispense the food, which is very much the same as what you had in the... The stuff. Yeah. Uh, but instead of the multiple colors that you had um, up in... Uh, at how selectos culinary experience here you have gray okay two shades of gray light gray and dark gray okay yeah it tastes like a combination between sawdust <laughs> and mushrooms cool. mushrooms aren't so bad <laughs> all right uh, i'll take some of them back the light gray is more sawdusty the dark gray is more mushroomy dark gray it's just <laughs> what's that we're good. Okay. I'll take some back for Alexa. Nigel, does Greg need some? I can just see your Probably. characters. Alright, so I'll, I'll get some for the rest of the group and go back to the corners. Alright. So you guys get food. Are you staying at the mess? I know that um, Jex is heading back. It doesn't take us long to eat them, so... It really doesn't. They're really, they're really dense. I just kind of shove the whole thing in my mouth, do the nose thing, and just, and just be yeah. done with it. Yeah, they're, they're super dense. Yeah. yeah. I can feel it all the way down. <laughs> it leaves that kind of like where, where like a pill gets stuck oh, and you think that it's yeah. still in there and you're like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is the, the morale in the mess? Like what, what is the... The visage of most of the people in here. Defeated, tired. Um or... the the general oh, look is of people trying to get through just another day. There are little pockets of bleakness in here. I mean, this is the way their great grandparents, their great great grandparents live this is the way they feel like it's going to to be um there's a couple people who are looking at you guys and and whispering and talking and they seem to be very excited or i mean again you're the first ship to come through here ever anyone here so there are also a group on the far side that they're not paying attention to anything else they're they're sitting down they're it's a group of about eight eight people. They're they're looking at the table. You see that they're kind of pushing their food cubes around, and then one guy will rearrange the food cubes. Does anybody have one of those little beep beeps? That does not make sense. The human scanners. Yeah. See, it made perfect sense to someone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, he, he could refer to anything like a comp. It w can't refer to a tree. Or a dog. <laughs> or a, a log. Cat. Or a log. Right. Or okay, a box. Guys. Yeah. Or a box. 
or a fox, or, a fox. <laughs> or some socks. Anyway, I mean, possi <laughs> possibly, possibly <laughs> socks. The ruffled shirts. <laughs> Maybe. Um, all right. So yeah, that's what you. That's kind of the the um, your take of the hall. Did There's we, close to like 150, 200 people in here. Did did the populace know that we were going into the temple, or is that kept hush hush? Uh, that was kept very quiet. Okay, cool. Uh, the, like Lord Sophronis told you it was going to be kept. Otherwise, we would be amazing. Um, <laughs> is everyone, so the food is kind of gray. Is everyone else kind of in gray drab, or is there Yeah, if you color? remember, no, if you remember there, uh, like the, the people who came out to meet you at the ship, they were in a gray drab, uh, covered their, you know, gloves, robes, um, Balaclavas? So, yeah. Balaclava, yeah. Yeah, balaclava. Um, goggles. It was all in that same kind of lifeless gray that the rest of the planet was. So, purple hair and you this stands just out. Stand yeah. out. Did you just gesture to all of me? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> am, I, am I wrong? <laughs> I mean, I have bright red robes on, so I stand out too. This. You just gestured well. to all of me. <laughs> this is something this world has never seen. That's right. Soak it up. <laughs> that was the end. It was not meant as a jab. It was meant as a compliment. Thanks. Because if I'm envisioning the mental image of Calypso that I have in my mind, Calypso is not... Highest. Not at all. Calypso's you were not gray. <laughs> no, not gray whatsoever. There may or may not be some glitter going on. Some nice shoulder pads. Like, come like on. Like a tattoo. Yeah. 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 There is this hand you have your afro for crying out loud. There is an afro. Don't you have an afro? No. no. It's a What's fashion mullet. It's a mullet. It's definitely. Okay, that's what I was picturing in my head. I don't know why I said afro. <laughs> I was like, I, we have radically okay. different visions of what the characters look like. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, anyway. No, no. Does it look like the group playing with their food? Does it look like a war game or like checkers or... It, it definitely looks like a war game. Okay. But not like... Give me a... You know what? Give me a intuition plus academia rule. <laughs> Points to burn. I know, like all the other lores except for military. No big deal. Nope. Yeah. It it looks like a a war game. Okay. Cool. Okay, this is Abby saying this. I really want to like steal one of their cubes and eat it just to make them mad. <laughs> This is why your characters die. Yeah. Just, okay. That's <laughs> just good. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. It's how my brain works. It's just poke the hornet. That's says, totally fine. You know what? You should do it. Go up there and do it. Don't let your dreams be true. That's right. Suit <laughs> up. <laughs> Do you go poke the horn? No. Okay. <laughs> like, like, I know you are. You are welcome to do whatever you like. I'm supposed to be learning to not kill my characters. <laughs> you, you, you play how you wish. You can do whatever you want, Abby. It's a game of the imagination. Right. You can do whatever you okay. got. Are, are we finished like. eating? <laughs> can we go to Lord Sophronis? Yeah. All right, you get back to the, uh, <laughs> you get down to, <laughs> I don't know what I just, <laughs> over them, <laughs> I don't know what I just missed. <laughs> you get back to where Alexa and Nigel are at. Great. Uh, is Dragon around? Yep. Okay. Gregor's kind of pacing back and forth. Wearing a, a like a row in the plush carpet of the okay. the place that where you're sitting or you're where you're staying. Uh, brought everybody food if you want it. It's kind of gross. 
I really wish we were on the ship. Me too. There's food on the ship. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there is. Uh, who has all the pieces of the ship? You or Calypso? I'm Captain. Okay. Why? What are you planning? Critter. Check so. <laughs> Not planning anything. I was just wondering who had what pieces. Calypso's got the initiator. The ship's not going anywhere without it. Good. Do you trust the military people? Uh, we met a major... Um... Becca remembers her name. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Jackson does. Thank Since you. we I never appreciate. remembers anybody's names, I was I really excited. I appreciate it. Team player! <laughs> Thank you, Lee. Um, that major woman. Oh, yeah. And she was, like, really scary. Uh, you don't her, think so? No, nah, her underlings uh, are easy to toss about. <laughs> yeah, have you met many of them? Just the one. Uh, no, there was the little one that Calypso interrogated. Uh -huh. She wanted to know everything. Shoe size, inseam, blood type, family history. Do you know why she wanted to know them? <laughs> What's that look, Gregor? You get this feeling like Gregor's listening to internal voices. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I don't sure. know. Yes, you do. I might know, but here's the thing mm -hmm. I like you a lot. I like you, Gregor. Good friend. Great friend. Decent pilot. You are amazing. Excellent I am just learning. However, it goes, what Jexa wants, what Gregor wants, <laughs> what the captain wants. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure what the captain wants and what Jexa wants. Yeah, I'm going this way. I don't know what's going on. She just wants to know what the captain wants, what the captain gets. That's why she's the captain. You know where Basarian is? I do not. Oh, I know where he is. You do? Yes. How Why? You, how would you know? Because I saw him on the way back. Oh. The, 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 the young man. Yeah. Yeah, he was looking for you. Oh, where'd you see him? <laughs> where'd you see him, Alexa? Um, I was... Alexa. <laughs> Out, outside in the halls? No, he's gone. He's gone. I'll go I'll go make sure he's gone. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, Gregor. Calypso wants you to stay here. Also, the she does. is going to be coming and wanting the key that Calypso gave you. That nobody knows about. I don't know about it. Alright, what I need from you. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> I like how this is one of the, like, the storylines you are all, like, invested in. Uh, so... For girls, what do you expect? I'm gonna meet a... Four nine months. What? We've got four nine months. <laughs> Not pregnant. What? Presence plus... <laughs> do you know? Presence plus... <laughs> Neighbory. <laughs> I know how good the mics are in the studio, so I'm assuming you heard all of them. I, on the other hand, am trying not to. Yes! <laughs> Did you get it? I got an 8 out of 10. Um, you have to overcome Gregor's mental resistance, though. How many DPs are you spending? Six. Damn. Okay. All right. Got a point. Gotta make sure the key gets back to Major. Mm -hmm. Okay, said to stay here. Mm -hmm. I will be right back. You're not back. And... <laughs> then you can tell my mother what I've done. <laughs> he kind of looks over to Alexa and Nigel. Uh, you're not back soon. I'm coming to get you. Okay. Sounds good. All right, you guys are right. She just said mother, who she referring to. There are two of them. <laughs>
<laughs> um, you guys make your way back to um, Electo's Manor. Cool. Oh. The servant is there. Welcome back. Did you make it into the temple? Is Lord Sopranos here? He is. Do you have his key? Do you need to speak with him? You are not answering any of my questions. You're not being the servant. <laughs> oh, but I am. Would you two like to go see Lord Sophronis? Yes. Do you have his key? Yes. These are questions that he asked of me to ask people. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> now, I'm sorry, Offworlder, I didn't quite hear you right. Did you make it into the temple? Dang, you're going to need to go to the hospital for that! <laughs> 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 really nice. I am the major domo of House Electo. What the Lord asks me to do, I do, and those he asks me to keep out, I will. I really think Calypso's definitely doing that. <laughs> oh, no, this is 100% Calypso. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that both Gemma? And <laughs> it's up to you. Like, how, how does Gemma Alestra? Stoic. Like, we, we don't really know Alestra yet. She's she's just recently joined up with the crew. So, how does she respond to that? Hang on. Take your time. Wait, I write this down. <laughs> 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 I get pretty vengeful because it's my curse. <laughs> okay. I get vengeful when I'm questioned. <laughs> when you're questioned, that's your yep. curse? That is not a great. All right. Mm -hmm. I have a question. What is... I'm asking what a word means. Sure. I, I know in general what uncouth means, but what does uncouth mean in this, and am I fulfilling this pretty well? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it means you have, like, no sense of decorum okay, then I'm, or manners. Okay, I have been like, stellar. You, you're, yes. You're, you're, okay. Here, have a word point. <laughs> yes. Do you know Santa gives Calypso a lot of weird points? <laughs> okay. Do I? I haven't, I haven't, no, I don't need I haven't naturally earned one except for crits for a while. <laughs> okay, is the major domo male or female? Uh, he is male. Gonna do my best here. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> How? Dare you question me, you annoying little twit. You are a servant. You need to stop. Stop questioning your betters. Just you kind of put are a not hand my better. On the Lestra. I'm a member of House Electo's personal retinue. And you I are a priest. I'm a noble from House Hazat. You are a priest. Then you have given up your orders, and if you have not noticed, Hold on. And he opens the door. That's the seal of House Electo, yes? This is. I wouldn't know. Electo's they decided to leave the universe. Nobody knows Just about that. I'm gonna them. put a hand on Electra. I'd say. I'm like shaking off. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really want to come to blows? <laughs> <laughs> I have found our highlight. I don't do any well questioning. <laughs> Alester, do you just do you want to take a step outside for just a sec? I don't think I do. I, I don't like this you. annoying twit. And I'm just going to take my hand on her shoulders <laughs> and put her outside and close the door. <laughs> I'm gonna lock it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me out of here! Let me out of here! I can't just. <laughs> I'm not the good talker, but here we go. <laughs> okay. Why but you interrupt you can see... me? This little twist. No, she put you outside. You were outside and I locked Are you the outside door. like. You can just see this vein going. I still have the key, just so you know. Oh, 
Oh, you shoot. do. You, she does have the key. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. It's fine. <sighs> did you get into the temple? Yeah, we did. Then I'm to bring you to my lord's chambers at once. <laughs> I also regret to inform you that the petulant. <laughs> <laughs> We don't Child. like her either. <laughs> <laughs> Those were not were my words. The petulant no <laughs> outside has this great temple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will retrieve it at some point. <clears throat> it is indeed strange times to have visitors from all four. And to discover what nobility has become back in the empire. But I will escort you, ladies. And when he says it, you kind of get like, he's not saying ladies, but like, ladies. Like, the noble. Not like, ladies! Not like ladies, no. <laughs> like, like, he's ascribing like... Respect. Yeah. Clips is like, Come what on. the frack is this? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I, will, I will send someone to escort we don't the priestess it. in if my lord wishes it. You, I mean, right back to where it is, the, the, the lord is still sitting there at the same spot at the table that he was earlier. Did you... Did you do it? Did you? Did you make it into the temple? Did you see? Did I you checked see to see if he has legs. Just. <laughs> Are you being like super obvious about it, or do you need to like? I so you have you have two options. You can give me a like very subtle perception plus observe roll. You don't need to make that roll if you're like. <laughs> <laughs> but we've just established she's uncouth, so. <laughs> um. You can see that he's wearing a blanket. Okay. But it's definitely clear that his legs end above the knee, or where the knee would be. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, yes, uh, Captain Calypso, yes. I um, was <laughs> um, given a difficult choice when I served in... Uh, the rangers, but that was um, allow the infection to spread um, or continue living. And it's amazing what um, modern technology will do for you. Or a butcher's knife? Ah, uh, <laughs> you know. It's fair. I remain me. Respect. <laughs> um, we did make it inside. We did. Speak. Where's Where's the rest of the people who are with you? The uh, the two priestesses and the um, the young lady. Uh, we well, locked one of them outside. One of them needed <laughs> a minute to cool outside. Leon, what happened? <laughs> She was impertinent, my lord. Um, and apparently is a member of House Hassat. Oh. Um. S send someone for her. And he kind of walks out. Um. Oh boy. <laughs> There is one priestess. The other is tending to one of the wounded that came with us. The younger woman is in their care. And there's the two of us. But you talked with her. You talked with the Blessed Lady. Mm -hmm. What did she say? <laughs> <laughs> And here's the story. Here is what she said. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I literally wasn't there, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, she offered us her blessing. Oh, she hasn't um, abandoned us. She has not. 
the scouring happened so close to the last time we saw her, I had I'd always wondered if we had gone too far. I'm sorry, please continue. Yeah, putting people out for the things, the staking? You get, uh, <laughs> like, as you, what are you doing out? Banging on the door still. Yeah, I'll be pacing. Okay. A, a guard in House Selecto livery, um, with his hand on his blaster. Um, Major Domo said I'm to bring you to the dining room where, um, Lord Sophronis is if you have cooled off. Mm. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Have you <laughs> cooled off? Right. He leads you in. She goes from this cute little jello poker to like, ah, I, now I picture like a very tiny chihuahua like woman. It's like, put him up, put him up, yeah. <laughs> So I'm making a list of art that I want. And that is definitely a piece of art that I want. <laughs> Alright, so you're being escorted in. I'm casually wandering the hall. <laughs> Asking if anybody's seen the Syrian. Oh yeah, he's uh he's out on the on the balcony. Oh. Okay. Oh good. Nice. You the hear this. <laughs> you hear this. I like how you think of that, and I think she can push him. <laughs> <laughs> you hear this bump, bump the people. noise that just repeats every so often. Okay. Bump, Still bump. In the hmm? So the balcony is a small square um, protrusion off the side of the building, glass all the way to the the ceiling mm -hmm. and kind of overlooks the city and the gray wastes and the swirling clouds and you kind of are looking down on the the uh, cathedral to the cathedral of St. Beatrice. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hey. Uh, he looks down the hall. <laughs> You're... I lost him. <laughs> <laughs> well. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I get, the, I got stories. Yeah. But yeah, how long have you, I mean, you've been here your whole life. Yep. You said your uncle was 120? Yeah. How old is your dad? Um, dad's only, I think he'll be 98 next year. Just had his ninety eighth birth or ninety seventh birthday. You guys live. I mean, that's. No, sorry, that's personal questions. Um, yeah, and you know what? Sorry, I'm sorry. Your your captain. Jeez. That was the, like, <laughs> the only thing, like. My entrance exam into the guard mm -hmm. was only more invasive due to the physical examination. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why Calypso did that. They're protective. I don't yeah. know why. But no, uh, yeah. I would... I'd Good go. to have family looking out for you. Yeah. So what's it like out there? Like you basically, I mean, this is, it's the best view that never changes. It's, right. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's wildly different. Um, you can go through a jump gate and end up on a planet that's mostly swamp. You can take off and 30 minutes later you're at a space station next to a dying sun and but I've been in a an academy for 
most of my life. So, I mean, I totally get that whole same view. You don't really get to get out. Um, I was on my first <coughs> assignment and we, but, well, we didn't do it. Beatrice told me that, luckily. But, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but, uh, the, the spaceship that, or the space station that I was supposed to go to and do some work, <clears throat> ended up falling into a star. Oh my god. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I was at the academy, then I went to the space station, and then to Ravenna, and then here, so I, <laughs> I really haven't been much more. I mean, if you want, I can show you around... And then, like, you, you're standing there talking to him, and suddenly he gets pulled out of the room. Put it away, boy! He is, like, Gregor has him, his feet are, like, just scuffing the... Put him down, Gregor. Not over the balcony. Put him down on the ground. Or on the floor. Put him on the floor. Put him over the balcony. On the ground. And he just kind of drops him. Basarian. Okay, I hope Basarian uh, stay him up. Uh, Sorry. It's... No, I, uh... Do you... Is that my comm? I'll, uh... I, uh... Bye. <laughs> <He> just... <laughs> <laughs> just the nastiest one. Listen. <laughs> I'm gonna puke. That so amazing. I turn around and walk away. As you walk away, you kind of hear, oh, good. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. So we now have two party members who are pouting and stomping. <laughs> that happened the table. It's half of the table. <laughs> the table is romanced over here. This table is just angry. <laughs> <laughs> you go back to Nigel and Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel and Alexa. I refuse to talk to Gregor. Do you never talk before you... <laughs> Do you never shirt on the door? Nigel has been on couches. That's <laughs> 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 not along the world, no. <laughs> so, um... So, he asked you what did she say, and at that point, you hear uh, the knocking at the door, and the door opens. Um, my lord, <coughs> as you requested, uh, the uh, the priestess of the sanctuary, Aeon, and the guard kind of leads. Oh, good. I uh, I heard there was some trouble at the door, and I um, do apologize. My deepest gratitude. My lord. Um, so, we were just talking about your experience in the temple. Mm -hmm. what, what did, you said she gave you your blessing. Mm -hmm. As for this, it's taking as a gruesome custom and tradition. But we do not have many resources. We do not know if we are the only ones left on the planet. Those who It is not my law, but it is the law of House, house Selecto. You are not <clears throat> a productive member of society. If you are a malcontent, a rabble-rouser, a insurrectionist, or a murderer, we don't have the resources to keep all of us and them alive. So. So you're using pun crime and punishment as a form to call your own population? No. I mean, I would be lying if I didn't say that sometimes in the history books, if you read between the lines, but that hasn't been necessary for at least my father's time, my grandmother's time, and my time, and hopefully 
continuing on into my daughters. So you haven't staked anybody for several generations? And we haven't staked to cull a population for several generations. They're just staking people. <clears throat> You see now why we wish to get off this planet. Mm -hmm. In that regard, make that face. That's just many. Um, Beatrice offered us her blessing. <clears throat> Reminded us of her pilgrimage, that she is a woman, a saint who travels, spreading her, her blessing and her light wherever she goes, <clears throat> and reminded us of the transformative power of that light before she departed. With that in mind, do you know why the temple was sealed? <sighs> Sorry. Thank you. I do not. Legends state, as I told you, the last priestess of the chapel of Beatrice, the Lady of Light. She sealed it. There were no more acolytes or those who were worthy to take the cloth. And so it is said that she sealed the chapel rather than let it fall into disrepair, unuse, unguided access. Why did Beatrice say something? Still not used to that. I wasn't the only one, man. <laughs> Hamsters are working real hard. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um. Beatrice was brief, but we were left with the impression that the temple should be left undisturbed. I would not recommend entering that space. Very well. I mean, I don't suppose you would care to tell me how you got into the temple. We had a One of our parties, oh my gosh. <laughs> Why do we have a dumb person talking? Because um, I wasn't there. I know. <laughs> no, it's just me. It's so amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just better. She doesn't, well, she doesn't see the, the major dome of the sheet. Nope, he is not there. <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> um, She's back for yeah. jello poking. So. Yeah. We have a member of our party who is, is skilled at opening doors. <gasps> That's Maddie. That's <laughs> not Gemma. Did <laughs> she teach us how to do it? No. I, I don't know if Sorry, it is a skill that can be taught, so to speak. We, we could maybe look into it, but I, I recommend the temple lay undisturbed. 
Beatrice gave the impression that she will not be returning anytime soon. And so there should be no need to enter that space. So we are abandoned yet again. Not abandoned. <laughs> not without hope. She has given us an idea of where to follow her to next. And you will be able to take us with you? Yes. We will be able to facilitate. As we stated with our previous conversation, we can take a few people with us on your boy and send more ships for the rest of the people. It will not be a quick process, but it would seem that this planet is no longer a home. It has not really been for many generations. Well, then this planet is no longer forsaken. So well, It looked like you were going to say something, Calypso. I was. I was going to just, you know, since, you know, we're going to take you away from this planet and... Well, it's not going to be, as she said, a quick process, but it's going to happen. There might be a few things that you could, you know, sacrifice for the stability of your people for a temporary protection solution, while the permanent solution is in transit to you. Go on. No staking. And a power generator. The first is one of the oldest laws of our people. Yeah, but They're fun old. fact, I as a pirate am very well versed in rules that are meant to be broken. <laughs> and how do you suppose that we handle the inevitable unrest when it's discovered that some of the people get to leave with you, but not all of them? So that's, okay. So my solution to that would be that instead of taking to the point where the oh boy is at capacity, we take one from your people. My daughter. One from these other people who I've been talking to. And who have you been talking to? The military. You're going to have to get along. And then some children. Children are light. They'll keep my ship moving quick. I have no debate with you about taking the children, but I seem to understand now why you ask for a power generator. You have been talking with Major Pagana, haven't you? I don't know who that is, man. All I'm just saying is... We have a permanent solution for you, which requires you to make temporary changes. The law is meant, the law is not meant to be stagnant. It is meant to reform. It is meant to continue to parallel to the morals of the current system. When one is stagnant and broken, it has to be overturned. That is the course of law. <laughs> I will find, assuming my daughter is on this list, a temporary solution to deal with those who violate our laws. A temporary one, if you do not return, or not send aid, the old laws will stand. That's fair. As for this generator, is it the major? Is it her plan? I mean, technically, I really don't know. I mean, not even technically. I legitimately don't know whose actual plan it is. I just know it's a thing. <sighs> Sophistry. Is it the major who wants the generator? generator 
I mean, originally they just wanted my ship, so I'm a whole of a heck a lot better than where we were originally. Yes. <laughs> had they stolen your ship. I would have killed everyone. And you would have had the backing of my guard. Uh, the military has not been under the noble control for quite some time. Do you know what they want to do with it? Protect people. They want to turn it into a bomb. Yeah. They want to detonate it less than a mile away from the city. Outside the city. There's also a chance the Major assumes to be an acceptable risk that the feedback would take out our shield until the engineers could repair it. So that's when I propose. One, I have a brilliantly gifted engineer on my team. Two, if you guys actually work together instead of all this scheming, you're all on the same page. If you're all on the same page, you're better equipped to deal with potential feedback. And again, I have a brilliant engineer on my side. Technically two. Are we talking about Gregor? <laughs> <laughs> that happened in character, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, Fair. <sighs> I would need to see, hear from your engineers what they think of this plan. Okay. Because there are spores in the air that the shield keeps out. And if the shield drops, my entire city is at risk. The military has become very consumed with fighting the enemy. Mm -hmm. I believe the Major has lost sight of protecting the populace. Well then, if you two are working together, perhaps you can come to an equitable solution. There is a saying, which I don't know if you've heard, but I learned in the rest of the universe, two minds are better than one. Bring me your engineers. Okay. I will send for the major. And we will discuss this. If your engineers can convince me that the shields can be down for a minimum amount of time if the feedback occurs, then we will proceed. Okay. And in the meantime, we will still get your people off of this planet. And for that, I will be eternally grateful to all of you. As long as my people exist, the name of the old boy will live. <laughs> she totally just distantly, she, she's gone. This... <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> What's wrong, Jexa? Gregor was threatening a friend of mine. Gemma? I don't think that... No. You could do it. Uh, <laughs> no. I believe Nigel would say that would be pissing into the wind. How is he, by the way? He is, he is better. Um, he should be waking up here soon. Good. What, what did you think of the temple? I still don't know what to think. I mean, I'm Beatrice, glad though. Beatrice talked to us. I am too. And that it was amazing long... to hear her voice again. Yeah, I guess you'd, you've talked to her, but you haven't heard her voice. I didn't really talk to her. Right. Intuited what I could. It was amazing what you can 
learn about a person, you spend years with them even if... And I always thought she was a good listener. I think so. But I'm, I'm glad to know that Milan Station wasn't our fault. It was weighed heavily on me as well. And I'm worried that whatever we do here <clears throat> is going to have the same heavy and dire consequences. Mm. Do like do we share what we found in the crypts? And if so, then if the people here go down and they extinguish this life that is not know, harmful is the right word, but aggressive, or they wipe out the people, and either way, life ends. I really don't like having these deep weights mm. on my shoulders. I'm just supposed to be an apprentice. I do not think you're an apprentice anymore, Jexa. It is not possible to go through life without making mistakes. Without accumulating weights on our shoulders. But it's when we don't deal with these weights or these mistakes that the mirror of our soul becomes clouded. It's not saying that all hope is lost, even if it is. Captain Calypso, <laughs> I think you are quite cloth that the pen creator is using to polish the mirror of her soul. <laughs> oh, she's nice. She's. She's not like anybody else in the Engineers Guild. No, I, I do believe the pen creator broke the mold when he made her. <laughs> Well, if you ever need to talk to someone, I have been told confession is good for the soul. <laughs> okay. I met this really nice boy and Gregor chased oh. him away. <laughs> he chased the boy away? Yeah. Who told him to do that? Uh, not I. My guess would be Calypso or Gemma. You hear something mumbled. Oh, is that Nigel? <laughs> is that Nigel? Uh, yeah, Alexa kind of turns, Nigel, are you awake? And he mumbles the same thing again. Um, go. Go get him. <laughs> go get the, the nice boy? Go get, go get the boy. <laughs> go get the boy. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Michael. Bar borrow, borrow the shirt. <laughs> I have one. <laughs> Calypso gave it to me. What do, I do, what do I do with it? He passes back out. <laughs> that is where we will end for tonight. Um, to all of our new followers, thank you for finding our channel and following us. Uh, we will be here every Friday night at 7 Mountain Time. Uh, Enjoying the adventures of the oh boy as they journey through this universe of fading suns. Um, yeah, just once again, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, this has been uh, Fading Suns. We're Iconic Productions, and thanks for watching. <laughs>